Hello, this is another demonstration that we have for working with Maple. There are some useful additional commands that we want to use uh, for our work. But before we start, there are some important reminders uh, for you to remember that. First of all, there is a difference between using the lowercase and uppercase maple is case sensitive in this case the command sum has been issued with lowercase and uppercase one shows the actual formulation and one actually does the value there's a difference between using colon and semicolon one of them uh, executes but does not put the answer in there and the other one actually puts the output in i'm using maple 16 if you're using a lower version of the maple, it may be a good idea to make sure that you are following some basic rules of placing the asterisks between, for example, 5x plus 3y. You should write it as 5 asterisk x plus 3 asterisk y and so on. For the, uh, for the powers, you use the carrot pretty much the same way that you use for your uh, calculator. So let's stop. We want to uh, show and demonstrate the solving of, uh, uh, of simple uh, equations and polynomial, finding the roots and uh, finding and solving a linear system of equations. The command for this is simply solve, as it will be, e, and uh, put the statement of the uh, put the statement of the of the equation that you have inside and comma with respect to x if you have just one variable and it would solve that for you. In, a, in, in the other case, the polynomial, I have assigned the name to it, so now I can just say solve a, which in this case a was the name that I had assigned the value to it. Uh, or I can just say solve a with respect to x and it would do the same thing because I just have one variable in here. To do a system of linear equations, the, um, I would assign names to each equation. For example, lowercase a to be 4x plus y minus z equal 1, um, b to be the, the second one, c to be the third one, and then I would say solve a comma b comma c, and then I would say with respect to x, y, and z. Um, that would give me the solution to the linear system of the equation. Next one, what we want to do uh, in here is to define functions. It's important to know how to define functions. Functions are defined simply by using those arrows. Um, for example, if I want uh, to define function g, I can say g uh, colon equal sign and then x comma y and then an arrow. I will create an arrow um, and then define the function. That the function is defined and it will be written as such. For me. And I can use it later on to find other stuff related to it. Uh, what about composition of the functions. If I have f of x and g of x, what would f of g of x be or g of f of x be? In this case, uh, simply I would define the functions first and then I use the at sign to define the composition of the functions. In this case, f at g of x is defined and g at f of x. Next one are the sums and products uh, operations, summations and products and multiplications of the statements. So in here I have i squared from i1 to n. Um, the way that I will be using is just the command sum. And again, remember that one actually capital 
sum with the capital S actually calculates the value. The calculus uh, row shows the actual formulation and the other one uh, different. The other one is product. Uh, now let's, let's take a look at limits and uh, differentiation as you see on the on the screen. Um, it's a very simple process using the limits of f with respect, you know, finding the limit of, of f as x approaches infinity. And again, remember that's a capital L, so I have to do the calculations. I will have to use the command value and the percent sign refers to the uh, immediately uh, preceding uh, command that has been executed. I can do the other one or I can write them all in one uh, statement and separate them by colon or semicolon and it would do the same thing. So let's, let's now look at derivatives. Um, let's look at the derivatives and derivative function is DIFF and it's a very simple process. We use the percent sign and uh, of course, uh, value percent sign will actually give you the uh, value of the uh, function. Notice that the capital D or lowercase d are defining uh, the way that the answer will be shown up. Let's now look at the finding the maximum and minimum of the functions, and in this case, I can use the maximize command and minimize command. In this case, I'm going to do uh, maximize sine of x plus cosine of x uh, at the range of x between 0 to 1. In the other example, I'm going to maximize x squared minus 5x plus 1 at uh, the range of x 0 to 3. So I can find the minimization functions even multivariable functions, you can find the minimum of them, and uh, I can do the even the multivariable functions with respect to one of the variables. Now, looking at the integrals, you can you can use the int command to do the calculation, uh, finding the integration of the function with respect to x, which would write them with respect to x for us, or we can actually find it with respect to a specific uh, range. In that case, the range is between 1 to 2 thirds of square root of 3. There is also sometimes when you issue the int command uh, and you get the the values and you find it and you issue the value command the answer that you get is not that straightforward in that in those cases you can issue eval f of the percent sign and it will actually calculate the values for you vectors and matrices this is one of the things that we will be using in uh, operation research classes a lot how do we do operations with the, with the matrices? We have to make sure that we bring up the uh, linear algebra library. You see a lot of commands that we will be using uh, in operations with the matrices are in here defined. To define a vector, we can use the command vector and it can be numbers or just uh, symbolic uh, values. We can uh, define a matrix by identifying how many rows and how many columns it has, and then start putting each row inside a bracket, separate the elements with the commas, and separate the brackets with the comma. So if I have, in this case, I have two rows, I would have two sets of brackets separated by a comma.
I can define uh, any matrix. I, I, have, I have defined matrix A. Uh, I have assigned name A to this matrix. Um, it's a square matrix. So I can actually find its inverse. I assign the name E to this inverse. Now I can actually invert it one more time and I should be getting the same uh, same as A that I had before. Inverse of an inverse is the original uh, matrix. I can multiply matrices by each other. We have to just make sure that, that we follow the rules and they can be defined. Uh, you cannot do undefined uh, multiplications. You can find the transpose uh, of the matrices. You can just issue the command transpose or you can just name that such that you have access to that name later uh, for other work. You can find the determinant by just issuing the determinant command and in this case I have, I'm finding the determinant of a uh, square matrix which is going to be minus 15. Now notice that determinants are only calculated for the square matrices. If I want to attempt to find the determinant of a non-square matrix, I will receive an error message that is going to tell me that um, the matrix must be a square and actually will give you a link uh, such that you can click on it and go and read more about it um, on the maple side uh, to find the inverse of a inverse of a matrix you can issue one over that matrix or you can just as we talked about it just issue the matrix inverse um, and that would do exactly the same thing as you notice in this example that we have for matrix. So let's go practice, let's go do some of it and have fun.